Welcome to Nell TV with the brand new Asus F201 or it's also called the X201 depending on which country you will look for this notebook. In Hungary it's called the X201, in Germany F201 and this is one of the cheaper Asus models which will replace the netbooks which will not be existing in the next year anymore. So uh, let's see on the device what kind of hardware we have inside this pre-production model that um, I got here in Hungary straight from the US. So as you can see here we have as always this nice standard Asus box which has only the notebook inside and the um, battery charger which we will take a closer look at in just a second. So you can see here on the back it's called uh, X201. Um, we have inside an Intel processor, um, of course this is not true, um, which uh, what's on here then we have uh, 320 gigs of hard drive space, um, of course a uh, battery which is not exchangeable as you can see here but you can take off the bottom cover and change the hard drive, the RAM is soldered onto the mainboard so you cannot change the RAM but we have 2 gigs inside and um, then we have of course um, Wi-Fi built in and let's see what else since there is also actually uh, webcam. So we can see here on the bottom we have four screws, five and another four here on the top um, to take apart the device. But let's actually take a closer look at um, what kind of ports we have here on this Asus X201. So we have SD card reader and MMC card reader, a headphone and microphone port, USB 2.0 and VGA which is almost extinct on uh, newer notebooks but we have of course also here an HDMI port on the other side so even uh, modern TVs will um, be able to access this notebook. Then a, a LAN um, port here on the side with no adapter you just have to open it up like that and then also um, power port, USB 3.0 ones, USB 2.0 and Kensington. So there's three USBs actually on this little Asus uh, X201. So as you can see also the speakers are right here on the bottom, one on this side and one on the other side on the top. On the front there is just two status LEDs so you can see if the device is charging or if it's on and on the back you have only this nice um, design which kind of look li looks like an Apple notebook. From the outside it's matte and from the bottom it was also matte but from the top you have a nice little structure and the Asus logo. As always we will compare the device also to a Zenbook 13 inch model. This is an 11.6 inch notebook and as you can see here we have a quite big bezel um, at least one finger thick. A Windows 8 running here. Let me just go inside by hitting enter if you don't have a password and then let's check out the keyboard. So you can can see here we have a nice American keyboard QWERTY. It looks beautiful and you can also quite uh, type quite nicely on here. We have some status LEDs here on the bottom. A beautiful big trackpad actually and which works of course also with multi-touch which is um, almost necessary with Windows 8 as you can see here and uh, you saw before that's on here. We have no backlit keyboard but this is actually a 400 a maximum $400 device. You can also buy this without Windows for about 300 or 350 We have a fan right here and also as I said there is a webcam on top with two microphones. What I don't like about this notebook right away is that you cannot open up the display that far to the back. This is the maximum which is not too much as far as I would say but the Zen books by Asus have the same problem so this is not just for a problem with the cheap models otherwise um, glossy display as you can see here here's a light and um, that you can see right away um, reflecting in the display but otherwise 3.9 in Windows 8 is quite okay. The, process, uh, the RAM has actually a 5.5 and the disk has a 5.8 rating and even the graphics got a 5.8 Two, which is totally okay even though there's only um, um, Intel graphics inside so nothing uh, special and the processor is actually an Intel Celeron processor which is actually fast enough but right now it doesn't seem to uh, want to do much work and then we have of course the standard Windows menu here but uh, you will see of course all of that in a test coming up soon. So you can see here Celeron 847 1.1 GHz with 2 gigs of RAM and a 64-bit um, operating system. So let me close actually up the device and then we'll compare it to this nice little Zenbook which is built out of metal. It's a little bit heavier but it's also 13.3 inches. Let me put the um, X201 on top and then you can see that the X201 is actually not that much slimmer 
or thicker actually. It's still a quite beautiful device. Of course this is completely made out of plastic on all sides and this is all on all sides made out of metal. So it's a little bit more high-end and if you look at it like this you will see that there is of course a size difference between 13.3 and 11.6 inches but actually as I said here the charging cable for the X201 is still quite nice and small but the extra cable here is totally long enough and actually quite perfect. So thank you much for watching and Devil TV please subscribe right here on the bottom to our channel. This was the hands-on and unboxing uh, kind of with the box in the back of the um, Asus X201 also called F201E um, notebook. Till next time please tune in again. My name is Balash Gal with Devil TV. Thank you much for watching.